Tonight, a Durham Public School administrator is suspended after the district wrongly overpaid more than a thousand employees for months. CBS 17's Galat Malamud is live for us tonight in Durham with this story. And Galat, somebody's got to pay the price, and it is literally going to be the people who've already paid once. Durham Association of Educators members I spoke to tell me they are so upset about this because the classified employees affected already have some of the lower salaries in the district. And now they have a paycheck shakeup due to a district error. I did ask the district if the chief financial officer was suspended directly because of this. And if there is an investigation, they say they cannot tell me that because it's a personnel matter. 1,300 Durham employees will now receive a lower paycheck because the district wrongly overpaid them for months. Micah Tweetmeyer is on the Durham Association of Educators board. This is really disheartening. A spokesperson for Durham Public Schools tells me the district wrongly implemented new salaries for classified employees. That was approved in October 2023. The spokesperson says the district then overpaid more than half of its classified employees for July to December, reflected in payroll since October. And this isn't just a one-time check situation. This has been in months that individuals and families have been budgeting with their new paychecks. The district's chief financial officer, Paul Asour, is suspended with pay, but a spokesperson says the district cannot say why he is suspended because it's a personnel matter. I am starting to wonder what's going on in the finance department. That's because Tweetmeyer says earlier this year there was also confusion surrounding paychecks. She says employees expected a bigger one due to a bonus, but ended up with a smaller one due to taxes. She's hoping for better communication. Durham Association of Educators Vice President Turquoise Lejeune Parker. But to make a big mistake like this is it's is ridiculous. Says she also wants to see changes in the finance department. We're, we're talking about the difference between paying bills that are already high and now trying to figure out and, and paste things together, Rob Peter to pay. I mean, it's 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 hard for people to do that. In a statement, Superintendent Dr. Pascal Mubinga says, quote, we are deeply sorry for this inconvenience and want our employees to know that this error was unintended and unprecedented. We are committed to working with our employees during this transition. The spokesperson says that impacted employees will be placed on the correct salary schedule with their next paycheck and that it will still be an increase from the salaries they had last school year. As for what happens next, she says the board and board attorney will now have to discuss the issue of how the district gets that money back. So I reached out to every school board member to try and get more information about that. They referred me to the school board chair, who I'm waiting to hear back from. Live in Durham, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. Cannot imagine how frustrated they must be by this, though, Gilat. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.